Margin Sea Lizard isn't an actual lizard. It's a kind of a sea slug that dwells close to the water surface. It swims upside down and somersaults to get food, and let's admit it, it looks very cute. Squat anemone shrimp is also known as a dancer shrimp because of its peculiar behavior. When agitated, it raises its bottom above its head and does a little dance. Divers also say it readily jumps on their hands and cleans them. Pygmy seahorse has only recently been discovered thanks to its outstanding camouflage skills. It hides so well in the reefs that it becomes almost invisible. Hairy squat lobster lives in reefs, hiding from predators in crevices. You'll instantly notice the drastic difference between its whitish hairs and vibrant pink and violet claws. Cryptic teardrop crab is a decorator crab, a species that attach things they find in the sea to themselves. This one is usually covered in living sponge. Tourists love flamingo tongue sea snails for their pretty colors, thinking it's a shell. But in fact, the shell is quite dull and hidden underneath colorful soft tissues. They'll eat softer toxic parts of coral and store their toxins to protect themselves. Skeleton shrimp could be the stuff of nightmares if it weren't so tiny. As it is, it looks like a stick insect, but almost completely transparent. Boxer crab doesn't do boxing, as its name might imply, but it sure does look like a boxer. It carries a live anemone in either of its claws and catches food with their help. Another creepy crawler on this list is a terrible claw lobster, and its claws are indeed terrible. Despite the tiny size of the animal, its right claw is as long as half the lobster's body. Feel that smell of snow and hot cocoa? Christmas tree worms would bring the spirit of winter holidays even to the depths of the ocean. The hairs growing from the stem of their body look like mini fir trees, hence the name. Orangutan crab looks like its land-dwelling primate namesake in miniature. Thanks to it being a decorator crab species, it gathers plankton and algae and attaches them to its body. Scarlet striped cleaning shrimp is a natural hitchhiker. It stands on the seafloor and waves its long antenna for fish and sea animals to go down and pick it up. Then it pays for the ride by cleaning the host from bacteria and plankton. If you dive in the ocean at night, you might be lucky enough to see how orange ball corillomorph blooms in the dark. But make sure to be quick, because as soon as you turn on your flashlight to take a good look, it will retract its tubes back into itself. Despite hairy octopus looking like it's forgotten to comb its hair in the morning, it's actually its skin that's sticking in every direction. Predators have a harder time realizing where the octopus itself is this way, I guess. Sea angels might look and sound pretty cute, but they're fierce predators. Their favorite prey are sea butterflies. They lay mucus traps for them and wait in ambush. Banded shrimp, or banded boxing shrimp, was really aptly named. It's got bands of color all over its body and always stands in a boxer-like ready-to-strike pose. Brown line paper bubble is another sea slug, and it definitely looks like one. It's got a special ability, though. It can quickly burrow holes in the seafloor, hiding from predators inside of them. Electric file clam looks like it has electric currents running through its body, but that's an illusion. The clam's underbelly is white, and when the rim quickly unfolds, it flashes the color. Pipe horse is a weird mix between a seahorse and a pipefish. Scientists think it might be a missing evolutionary link between the two. Squidworm showed ocean researchers it's a newly discovered species that looks much like an earthworm in structure but has distinctive features of its own, such as frilly appendages it uses as a nose. Cockatoo squids, or glass squids, are a large genus whose members can reach quite impressive size. Yet one thing they have in common is that their bodies are transparent and the internal organs glow in the dark. Halotrephes Masai jellyfish is normally invisible in the dark abyss where it dwells, but when exposed to light, it will reflect it and shine beautifully. Sea salps are often confused with jellyfish, although they're closer to Portuguese man-o-war. They're very quick to mature, growing from newborns to adults in less than 48 hours. 
decorator crab attaches parts of coral reefs it dwells in to its body thanks to its adhesive properties. Persian carpet flatworm looks indeed like a carpet, despite being very small by comparison. Able to become both male and female, it really doesn't mate with other flatworms. Rather, it fights them for the right to bear the posterity. It's red hand fish. It has front fins that look like human hands, which it uses to crawl the ocean floor. Ornate ghost pipefish not only looks like something from a sci-fi movie, but is also the only kind of pipefish that lets its females bear their offspring. Barrel eye fish is arguably the strangest creature you might meet in the ocean depths. Its body is just like any other fish, but the head is completely transparent, and the eyes are inside the head, covered by green lids. The bulbs on its snout are, in fact, nostrils. Giant hatchet fish is only giant by comparison. It's the largest species of its kin. The flat, hatchet-like body and huge, bulbous eyes will probably chase you in your nightmares for a long time afterwards. A fish that can first insult you and then bite, sarcastic fringe head is a very aggressive thing. And when it opens its mouth, it looks like the predator from the iconic movie. Yikes! Hooded nudibranch is weird all by itself, but if you take it out of the water, which I wouldn't recommend myself, you'll sense a sweet, fruity smell it emanates. Abalone is a strange but edible and quite delicious mollusk that's a delicacy in many coastal countries. Its singular, powerful foot can glue it tight to rocks. Uh, did I mention it's delicious? Dwarf lantern shark is as little as it is mysterious. It's by far the smallest shark in the world, dwelling deep in the darkest parts of the ocean. Feather star is a spectacle to behold. When it swims in water, it does so by gracefully flapping its feather-like limbs. Blue-ringed octopus doesn't have blue rings until you spook it. If you do, it'll immediately take a defensive stance and show its electric blue patterns. Black swallower might be small, but make no mistake, it could easily gulp down your favorite puppy. It can open its mouth extremely wide, allowing it to swallow prey twice its size. Pink see-through Fantasia has a romantic name, and for a reason, its body is absolutely translucent. Dumbo octopus is a cute and harmless little critter that got its name, you guessed it, thanks to its flippers, which look like elephant ears. Despite its eerie name, vampire squid doesn't drink blood. Its tentacles are connected by webbing that allows the animal to cover itself like in a cowl. Portuguese man-o-war looks pretty similar to jellyfish, but belongs to another genus. If you see it, never touch it. Its tentacles are venomous. Giant isopod is basically an overgrown underwater dust mite. It grows really huge compared to its land-dwelling counterparts. And it also has a whole music album dedicated to it. Leafy Sea Dragon was discovered pretty much by accident. It looks like a piece of algae floating underwater, and you won't be able to see it until it starts to run away from you. Red-lipped batfish is a fashionista of the marine kingdom. It walks around the seafloor like a queen and flashes luscious red lips. Whalefish long confused scientists into thinking they were a separate species. In the end, it turned out that they're females, while males and offspring look entirely different. Cookie cutter shark is a living horror, with lower teeth being big and sharp, while the upper ones are much smaller. When its teeth fall off, the shark eats them to maintain calcium levels. Lump sucker gets its name from the hind fins, they help the fish cling to the seabed. Northern Stargazer is definitely not something you'd wish to see on the ocean floor. This horrid creature hides its body under the sand, leaving its face above to wait for prey. Flying Gunnard looks like it's flying indeed. When agitated, it spreads the wings to seem bigger and scare off predators. Brown garden eels live in large colonies that are called gardens. And it's telling, since they stick out vertically out of their burrows in the sand. Frogfish is a master of disguise rivaled only by octopuses. It can take the shape of almost anything on the sea bottom. 
Lizard Island octopus is otherwise called mimic octopus because it can mimic the looks and behavior of up to 15 different fish and animals. Gulper eel has an easily distended belly that allows it to swallow prey twice its size in a single monstrous bite. Australian ghost shark isn't really even a shark, but it's a bony fish. It's also a living fossil. It hasn't changed within the last 400 million years. Coconut crabs are hermit crabs allowed to grow too much. <laughs> Their preferred food are coconuts, but they can also hunt down lizards and even large birds. Tasseled wobegong is a carpet shark, which means it lies low on the bottom of the sea and patiently waits for its prey to come by. Slender snipe eel is a slim and long creature that's still a mystery for marine scientists. It has at least 750 bones in its spine, which is much more than any other animal in the world. Aris orthocana isn't a single organism. It's a colony of transparent bells attached to a bright orange stick. Frilled shark is another living fossil. It has rows upon rows of short, razor-sharp teeth directed inside for better grip. Sea pen has a lot of varieties, but most of them look indeed like a pen or a quill. The similarity is even more striking when the animal has a water-filled bulb that anchors it to the floor. Bobbit worm hides underneath the seabed and snaps at the prey when it touches its antenna. Don't ever touch it with your hand unless you want it to become permanently numb. Megamouth shark is a filter feeder, and it's friendly to humans, although its huge mouth can look quite threatening. Like basking shark, it swims with the mouth constantly wide open, as if it was on Twitter.